Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, now we are going to talk about sulfuric acid and now let us understand basically how sulfuric acid has been prepared by contact process. So this is the most important topic that I am going to talk about. So let us understand this topic. So friends, now we are going to talk about the manufacturing of sulfuric acid by contact process. This is the most important topic that I am going to talk about. And now let us understand that is how sulfuric acid is being prepared. So sulfuric acid is basically prepared from sulfur and by doing the oxidation process that sulfur can be converted into SO2 and then on further it would be converted into SO3 then oleum and then H2SO4. So this is what I am going to talk about the several reactions that takes place in the contact process and the first reaction that is I am going to talk about is preparation of sulfur dioxide. So we can prepare sulfur dioxide by using sulfur and by doing the oxidation or by burning the sulfur at a particular temperature we can convert that sulfur into SO2 or else we could use that is iron sulfide that is 4 moles of iron sulfide along with that of 11 moles of O2 so as to obtain that is 2 moles of Fe2O3 and 8 moles of SO2 so these are the two methods from which we can prepare SO2 and this SO2 plays a very vital role in the formation of H2SO4 so this was the first step that is what I have discussed about and now let me talk about the next step so this is the second step that I am talking about and this is the most important step in the process of the formation of H2SO4 that is oxidation of sulfur dioxide to sulfur trioxide so in this case the sulfur dioxide that has been obtained from the step number one that is what we have discussed so it will be further reacted with oxygen and that also in presence of a catalyst that is Me2O5 so in this case we see the formation of two moles of sulfur trioxide will be there but the thing is this process is very much reversible and that's the reason that in particular temperature should also be maintained so as to obtain that is two moles of SO3 and that particular temperature is known as optimum temperature which is found to be 723 Kelvin and talking about the pressure we should apply the pressure that is higher pressure that is from 2 to 3 atmospheric pressure because of which we see the volume will get reduced and obviously we can find or we can convert that particular gas into a liquid state so this is the most important step that I am talking about and to perform this step we have to pay some precautions and those precautions are that there should be no dust particles there should be no other particles that could poison this reaction and that's the reason that we are using v2o5 as a catalyst so this is the second step that i was talking about and now let me talk about the third step so the third step is dissolution of so3 in h2so4 so in this case the sulfur trioxide that is what we have obtained in step number two that is basically dissolved in h2so4 so as to obtain oleum and the oleum has a molecular formula h2s2o7 so SO3 is basically dissolved in H2SO4 and it is not dissolved in water. The reason behind that is SO3, whenever it has been dissolved in water, it will form a fog. And that's the reason that it could interrupt the further reaction and that's the reason we are dissolving it in H2SO4. So a few amount of H2SO4 when in which basically SO3 is dissolved, it will form H2S2O7, which is basically oleum and oleum is nothing but a fuming sulfuric acid and this is the thing that is what we have got and now let me talk about the last step the last step is dilution of oleum so the oleum that has been produced that is what we have got in step number three that is h2s2o7 that is basically dissolved in h2 so as to obtain that is two moles of h2so4 and this h2so4 is around 98 percent pure and that's the reason this contact process is the most important process or the most important industrial process so as to prepare h2so4 that is sulfuric acid but for which we have also a chart diagram so that i could make you understand in a much more better way and the chart diagram is so this is the diagram for which i have to give you detail that is it consists of sulfur and obviously that sulfur it will react with oxygen and so as to form sulfur dioxide so in this case this is the dust precipitator so this is the sulfur that is burning or it will burn at a high temperature by getting converted into SO2 and since SO2 is a gas obviously it will pass through this so this is SO2 along with that of O2 even the oxygen will be there so even they will be passed through this dust precipitator and that's how basically the gas that is SO2 it will flow through this one so there is a passage of hot air so that this will convert the further sulfur into sulfur dioxide so through which basically this is dust precipitated through which a pure SO2 gas it get passed here and here basically the water has been sprayed so as to remove the other impurities and here we see the waste water is getting eliminated so the gas as we understand that is it will pass through this chamber and this chamber 
will consist of because we are spraying H2SO4 and we understand that is H2SO4 is a that is it is a dehydrating agent and it removes all the moisture so that's the reason dry SO2 along with that of O2 it will be moved through this pipe and this is also a waste asset that is what it will get removed so now this SO2 and O2 it will pass through this arsenic purifier through which suppose if any dust particles or if any impurity it would be there so it will get stop over here and the further gas particle it will pass through this and this is nothing but the heater and this is the main part that is catalytic converter where we are using b2o5 as a catalyst and hereby basically so2 is converted into so3 so when so3 is passed through this chamber then h2so4 that is concentrated h2so4 is sprayed on it and that's the reason that we could get that is h2s2o7 that is nothing but oleum and on dilution of this oleum we could obtain that is pure sulfuric acid so here also there is a quartz chamber that is basically present over here so that it could basically prepare that is oleum in a very effective manner so this is what the flow diagram of the preparation of sulfuric acid is by contact process that's it so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this video very clearly and i hope i'll see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe to the channel thank you so much